Hello folks and welcome to the TM and TG YouTube channel. I'm Woody. If you are not already aware, if you are new here, let me tell you what this channel is about quickly and let you know why you should subscribe and hit that notification bell and consider joining our community because that's what we're about. We're trying to build a community here that is focused on better self, making life work for you and actually being a little bit more self-reliant, being able to do things on your own, being able to make things, use tools to improve your home or to fix things in your home. Because let's face it, it is pretty expensive to hire somebody to come and fix something, whereas you probably can do it yourself. And that's part of this channel. That is one aspect of it, along with other facets that you're going to see in the future. So consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. One of the things that I'm actually going to build is not necessarily improving your quality of life, but maybe a nicety in life. And that is I've got some pallet wood that I'm actually going to try to see if I can make an American flag out of that pallet wood. That's one project I plan on working on and filming and uploading to this channel. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you like this video, if you like the content, please hit that like button because that's going to help us out a ton. And finally, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this video. There are many things that I'm going to be covering about this new multi-volt battery I got with from Metabo HPT. Do you own Hitachi tools? I actually got this battery to upgrade the power of my Hitachi drills, my Sawzall, and my impact driver. I've upgraded to this Metabo HPT this is a four amp hour battery. It's a multi-volt battery. It fits both of their systems, their 36 volt platform and their 18 volt platform. These tools are 18 volt tools, but it does, or we'll, we're gonna see, does it help with the power in those? I have the 18 volt batteries that came with this kit when I first got it about three years ago. So these batteries are close to three years old, but they haven't had heavy use. And I feel like I've taken fairly good care of them. So let's see if this is an upgrade. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this package open. It's the new Metabo HPT rapid charger. It has a USB port to charge your phone as well or other devices. I'm gonna open this thing up and see what it does. Really, I want to see the difference between this new multi-volt 36, 18-volt and my older 3-amp-hour 18-volt batteries. So this kit, I got it at Acme Tools, which I actually am a fan of them. Acme Tools, check them out if you haven't. And this kit was on sale, I believe it was like $129 for the battery and the charger. Something like that, which isn't too, too terrible. Comes with the cover and the charger. Oh, okay. So here is the USB port. Just charge your phone or other devices and let's see what it came came shipped with one bar which I kind of want to kill it to see all right so first up is gonna be the Hitachi Sawzall and I've got the 18 volt 3 amp hour battery let's do the 3 amp hour battery first and then we're gonna switch to the multi volt battery and we'll see which one does better. Ready? Go. Okay, so not a completely smooth cut there. There was a deformation in the wood. But still, either way, I think it's gonna be an okay comparison. Let's go ahead and throw. Okay, for the multi-volt battery, it is fully charged. The three amp hour battery I just used is also fully charged. And let's see if we can notice a difference. Ready, go. I 
I will tell you, I don't know what the time was, but you can take my word for it <laughs> or not. That was better, that was faster, that was stronger. I can tell the difference. Okay, so the next test is I wanna see how well, or what the difference is in power with driving. I wanna see what the difference is in driving these three inch deck screws between these two batteries. So first up is gonna be the three amp hour battery. And I'm driving these into a four by four pressure treated post. All right, ready? Go. So that screw actually had a little deformation on the head of it. And uh, so I had a little bit of cam out there at the very beginning, but I think it gives a decent enough comparison. Maybe we'll do one more here. This is a little fresher head. Three amp hour battery. I'm gonna start it slightly and let's see how she does. Ready, go. Yeah, that screw had better bite. So that's the three amp hour. Let's drive using the multi-volt battery. Same three inch deck screw, different location. Let's see if we can tell the difference here. Ready, go. There was absolutely a difference. I had some cam out, so let's get a fresh one. And this bit is kind of ate up. I'm probably going to need to switch this bit. Might just throw this bit away, to be honest, after this test. But let's do one more. We're going to slightly start it, just like the other one. All the rest, and ready, and go. I can personally tell the difference. I feel like based off of using the tool with the multi-volt battery, still has a full charge. Yes, I can tell the difference. The next test I wanna do, all right, next up. Got the three amp hour battery on the drill driver. This is a hammer drill. I'm gonna make sure we set the it is set on drill to one inch paddle bit. First up is the three amp hour battery. And ready, go. So I sunk it. And I was on low. Okay. Three amp hour battery on high. Ready? And go. There it is, folks. As you can see, it struggled. It really does struggle with that one inch. And I can feel it in the old forearm. Question I have, as you all know, is does the multi-volt battery help? And I sure hope it does. So we are still on, we're gonna be on low actually. And let's see. 
What happens? Ready? Go. Yep, difference. I could tell a huge difference. It's a little bit of a knot right here. We're gonna switch this to high now. I'm still gonna go through it. Let's see what it does. Right on the outside of the knot. And on high, multi-volt battery, ready, go. Look at that. That's a huge difference, you could tell. No doubt about it. That multi-volt battery gives it more power. That multi-volt battery has given every one of these tools more power. All right, so we did the test and uh, wow, right? I mean, the results for me personally, I figured it would increase the power, but I didn't know by quite how much. And I feel like that one inch paddle bit, man, it really showed the increase in power. I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. I knew it would probably help a little, but I feel like it really increased the power in there. And I'm impressed by this battery. I'm glad that I made that decision to upgrade. And it still has a full battery even after all those tests still full. And I got the rapid charger with it, which I did time it. It's supposed to charge it, I think in like 55 minutes. I don't know, something like that. And it actually did it in about 50 minutes from almost dead. It was pretty much dead. I think it was 47 minutes is what I clocked it at. So 47 minutes to 50 minutes, you're gonna charge your battery from pretty much being dead to full charge on the rapid charger. I was pretty happy with that. I also, I also upped or topped off my 18 volt ones, my three amp hour ones, and it charged those really quickly. So that rapid charger and multi-volt battery, you know, if you're on the Hitachi or Metabo platform and you are still using these older batteries, I would definitely recommend you go out and get these flexible batteries because man, it definitely helps increase the power. With that, I want to say thank you to everybody that has subscribed already. And if you have not subscribed, please do that and hit that notification bell. Also, if you like this video, consider giving me a, a like down below. That's always gonna help us out. And I think that's gonna wrap it up for me on this video. Make sure you stay tuned for the future ones. And that is all.